Okay, before we begin today, we're going to be talking about outlining and creating annotated bibliographies. So the very first thing I want you to do, since we're going to begin with outlining, is I want you to open the 2020 Technical Writing Research Paper Project document. That was posted in the Topic and Thesis Statement post back on Monday, November 30th. I want you to go ahead and open that document. And when you open it, I want you to go to page 20. Okay, so is everybody on page 20 of the document? So let's look at page 20. An outline is a way of organizing information. It uses key sentences to form the structure of the research paper. So there's a sample that is listed on this page. You have the outline, you have the title, which is where you're going to put the title of your paper, your thesis statement that we wrote back on Monday, that's going to be typed in right here. Your main topic is going to address one point of your thesis statement. And then you're going to write two sentences about the main topic, and those are your subtopics. Then you're going to have a second main topic with two important subtopics and a third main topic with two important subtopics. Now this example lists a fourth one but since we wrote a three-part thesis you're only going to have three main topics. So let's keep going. Let's scroll down some more. There are some helpful hints at the bottom of that page and the top of the next page. You're going to title your outline with the title of your paper. So you're going to already want to have an idea of what you're going to name your paper. Now this could change as we go throughout this process. You're going to follow the sample outline format for numbering and lettering. Main ideas are chief points. Label them 1, 2, 3 in Roman numerals, etc. Each main topic must include two subtopics, at least two, and they are labeled A, B, C, and so on. Details for subtopics are labeled with numbers, one, two, three, and you may not have any of those for the informal outline that we're turning in Friday, but as you do more research, you're going to have more of those. Sub details or examples for details are labeled with lowercase letters like A, B, C, and so on. You're going to use a period after each division letter or number. Do not use parentheses, do not use dashes, do not place periods after topics or subtopics. Do not use question words like why, how, or what, such as why global warming is detrimental. Begin the main topic, subtopics, and details with capital letters and use complete sentences. Maintain chronological order in your outline and your paper. And you're going to indent as shown in the example. You should be able to draw a line through all the periods after Roman numerals and after and then another through all the periods after letters and numerals. So let's look at an example. You're going to go to the informal outline assignment and you're going to open both the outline template and the outline example. We're going to, the outline template looks exactly like what we just saw in the book. I literally copied and pasted it. And that's what you're going to use to create your example, your outline. So I want to get, show you 
the outline that I created about teaching. So if I were to write a paper about teaching, I would title it Becoming a Teacher, and I'd put that at the very top. Remember, you're not going to have the word outline at the very top. You're going to have Becoming a Teacher. Then the thesis statement. Teaching is a rewarding career because teachers help others constantly develop their craft and enjoy a livable income and benefits. Then we go into the main topics and subtopics. Now, since I haven't done that much of my research yet, I don't have any lowercase out letters and I don't have any standard numerals, Arabic numerals, you know, actual numbers we would call them on my outline. But as I do more research, I will probably add that. So by the time I turn in my final outline with my rough draft, it will have most of the information from my paper. So my three main topics are helping others is a key positive component of the teaching profession. Teachers never stop learning. They spend their careers developing and refining their skills. And teachers earn a livable income and benefits for their efforts. So my two subtopics to back up my first main topic, my first main point, are that teachers help students every day and teachers also help their colleagues. For uh, my second main topic, my two subtopics are teachers are required to have a minimum of a bachelor's degree and teachers attend trainings such as in services throughout their careers. My third main topic is that teachers earn a livable income and benefits for their efforts. And the two subtopics for that main topic are teachers earn a living wage and bonuses and health insurance and retirement benefits make teaching a rewarding profession. So that's basically in a nutshell how to create your outline how to break down your thesis statement into the three main topics and how to create subtopics from those main topics. Remember if you have any questions at any time please do not hesitate to ask those questions.